Hi you guys, it is Sally with Amelia Salon. Um, I want to discuss a topic today and this is kind of a more of a topic that's talking about our natural hair. Um, about the views, how we view our hair or how others view our hair. <clears throat> so this topic is going to be a little bit different. Normally I'm reviewing products or I'm reviewing um, certain things or what you should and should not do. So lately what has happened um, in consultation with clients there have been a lot of people saying that they don't like their natural hair. Um, someone has said something about their natural hair or about them going natural. Well, let's just say women, we should stop it. We really should stop bashing our sisters about, about being natural or your hair is too dry, your hair is too nappy. Um, maybe you should put a relaxer back in your hair. Um, you can't go natural. And this is from stylists now. You can't go natural. Your hair is too bad to go natural. Well, those are all hurtful things. I don't use that word nappy inside of my salon at all. I, I tell my clients they can't use that. They can't say that. Um, it's derogatory. It really is. It came, number one, from slavery. And a lot of people don't know that. And um, so we're battling. We're pretty much battling uh, what others have said about our hair. And now we're also battling what our own culture is saying about our hair. It's wrong. I mean, it, it's really wrong. Some people may like this video, some people may not like this video, but right now, I truly don't care. I mean, I, I really don't. Because um, we have to make our decisions for ourselves, you know, um, for our health reasons, for even for our hair, even for our healthy hair, uh, for that reason. Um, also for just if we just choose to go natural that's our prerogative that's what we choose to do who are you to tell us that we cannot do this we can't be natural uh, we we have to have color in our hair we have to have relaxers in our hair and i'm not talking about those who are wearing relaxers and and color whatever floats your boat do it however um if we choose to wear our hair like this, how it came out of our bodies, how our creator created us, how God created us, how dare you say we can't? You cannot say that we cannot wear our hair natural or it's, it's just it's nappy. I mean, look at that girl over there. Her hair is just so nappy. You know her hair is bad. Well, what is bad hair? Bad hair is damaged hair. That's how I view it. And then I, I see that there are a lot of uh, Caucasians. Caucasians, they embrace our hair more than we do. They really do. They will say, oh, I love your hair. I love your curls. Don't go straight. I have a lady that when I go in Sally, she tell me all the time that she loves my hair. She loves my curls. And whenever I straighten my hair out, she she literally gets upset with me and she's like why did you do this why did you straighten your hair I don't like your hair straight she wants my hair curling now there are some people that are telling me oh you have really good hair no I have healthy hair I, I literally I have healthy hair I do not accept that you tell me that I have good hair I have curly hair my hair is curly I just tend to um, it's extremely curly, but I, I moisturize, I shampoo it, I deep condition, I do everything to my hair besides twist it to my scalp because I just choose not to wear my hair like that. So, and this is my style all the time. I've been wearing this same style for the last past four years that I've been natural. 
Um, and once again, I had to learn my hair. I, I, I had to, and just because I'm a cosmetologist or trichologist or hair loss specialist, does not mean that I automatically know natural hair. I automatically knew my hair. I didn't. I learned my, I had to learn my hair. I was relaxed from the age of, oh, I've had a chemical in my hair from the age of 11 up until about four years ago. So, um, yeah, I had a, I had a jerry curl, yes. But, and then after, after I went to the jerry curl, look, got away from the jerry curl, I went to the relaxer. And then it's like, people started accepting me for, because my hair is now straight. It's not in the jerry curl. What? I mean, I, I, I really, I really hate being around people like that. And hate is a strong word for me. It really is. I don't hate a lot of stuff, but I really hate being around people like that who have the have the audacity to say that you know I you know I, I like you better with your hair straight. I don't give a fat frog's bumpy bottom how you like my hair. I really don't. I'm just saying you don't have to be around me. You don't have to be around that person if you don't like that person's hair. It's not any of your business. It's not your business. Worry about your own hair, pretty much. You know, is your hair healthy? Can you go natural? Can you be natural? Can you be natural without talking about somebody else's hair? Really, I'm serious. You know, when I see my clients, I have to uplift them because they're going through so much. They're going through hair loss. They're going through um, whatever's going on at their job, you know, how their job is going to uh, view their hair, how their job is going to, you know, look at them, the, the, the people. Stop. You guys need to just stop and wake the heck up. Just really wake up and realize it's our choice, it's our decision about our hair. It, it really is. I'm educating people about their hair as much as possible because what has happened, um, YouTube or the people on YouTube, I'm not gonna say YouTube because it's not YouTube. The people on YouTube has turned our natural hair into jerry curls to where we have to spray our hair all the time, all day long. and. Um, somebody who has who does not know anything about anyone else's hair they get on YouTube and they start talking about this is what I do to my hair and I do this da 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 and they get a little bit of information and they run with it um yeah I'm trying my best to help you guys I, I really am um, I, I pray that I'm doing a good job but I really really want people to to focus on their hair and, and not focus on everybody else's hair. You know, um, I know I'm probably going all over the place right now, but I'm just saying, um, yeah, focus on your hair. If you're on YouTube, um, viewing videos, view videos for styles instead of viewing videos for, um, Oh, what I should and should not put on my hair. I, that's fine. You can watch me. You can watch other people. But I'm just saying, um, just just research the information, and then you all that are doing the the bad comments, um, telling people, man, you all need to stop. I mean, it's it's really really you all are just heartless. I mean, <laughs> you tried to do it to me, and uh, I find it hilarious. I, I really do, and I'll delete it. Because I know you, some people are just ignorant, you know. But stop, stop telling people that their hair is nappy or their hair is bad. Um, well, you need to do this to your hair. You need to do that to your hair. I don't like you like this. Um, stop. Just stop it. I mean, I'm I probably going on like 10 to 12 minutes now on ranting or talking or discussing about this or discussing this issue. It's, it's just I, I have to talk about it because it really hurts me that people come in into the salon and and this is what I hear. You know, I hear 
someone talking about somebody else's hair and you have no idea of of the hair loss that they're experiencing or you have no idea of the hurt that they're experiencing because of what you said you may think that they didn't hear you but they heard you you know you guys are just some people can just be heartless and they really can and um I'm not here to hurt anybody's feelings. I'm, I'm really not about their hair. I'm here to tell you that your hair is beautiful. You are a beautiful creature and so is your hair. If it wasn't beautiful, it would not be coming out of your skin. Put it like that. So anything that comes out of your skin, anything that comes out of your body, I say that it's beautiful regardless of what it is. It's beautiful. <laughs> it's beautiful. <laughs> It was once beautiful to become that dummy. <laughs> Let me stop. But yeah, um, <laughs> it was beautiful because you ate it. <laughs> but yeah, um, I had to put some little humor in there. So yeah, um, yeah, it's beautiful. Your hair, regardless of the texture, um, regardless of the look, some people can't afford to get their hair done. So they're doing the best that they can. They can. And uh, excuse me, they are. And you guys should just stop. If you don't like the person's hair, how about this? I dare you to give them a gift card to get their hair done. How about that? I dare you to give them some money and say, here, I would like to bless you with this money to get your hair serviced at whatever salon. I dare you to do it. Those of you who can't do it, please be quiet. And I'm going to end on that note. So, good night, ladies and gentlemen. You all be blessed. Bye.